Okay, today is Wednesday, September 18th. I guess you can tell where I'm going back to, to continue to do the correct thing in an incorrect system. Uh, mind you, I've not been called in for the interview again. This is my third time showing up here to give them in my interview in a transparent, open, public place. Uh, you would think that they would be concerned about justice and everything else, but apparently that's another ruse, is that they can lure you into the back in a rigged procedure, which of course has been happening at each and every agency that I've gone to. They've tried to lure me in the back, the OCC, you cannot videotape, the Human Rights Commission, you cannot videotape. Oh, the list just goes on and on and on. That way they can fix the intelligence, you know, omit your paperwork from the file, cover up what the truth is with their incorrect paperwork and submit that as the final product. This is the nature of the corrupt system. This is the way they screw everything up with the investigations. Oh, and speaking of the investigations, let's not forget my visit to Jane Kim, who wants a hearing on the police investigative division, considering the, the, uh, the, the fatality with the, the bicyclist on Folsom Street, the bike coalition. I think you saw my video going in trying to get an appointment in a meeting so that I could show her and videotape what I have and show her the videotapes and I think you saw how I was treated well. Once again, the games continue and I will continue to document for you. So here I am. Let's see what the excuse is this time. Thank you. Hello. I'll be coming in probably, you know, like I said, quite frequently until I get the help that's requested and mandated. I still have not received a call from the captain. I know you're terribly surprised. I have not been, you know, emailed by him like I had requested. Naturally, Mr. Ortega came out and gave me his options choice, which wasn't correct. I'm here for the third time to give my statement to Officer Ortega, you know, in the public place, okay. not outside. So when will I get some, you know, uh, what is it, to serve and protect? I will ask around. Sure you will. I'll wait. So, folks, as you can see, the failure does not reside in me. You know, the, the thing for justice for all, well, it just depends on what they mean by that. Uh, justice for all, if it's their own that you're going against, I believe, you know, doesn't apply to the ordinary citizen. You know, never have they come out here to take my statement in public, which I'm allowed by law under, you know, transparency, you know, accountability, everything else. Uh, the system is rigged. We all know it. Here's the proof. Let's continue to document it and naturally, you know, watch the spin how it's my fault. Now imagine a sick person having to go through all this, no help from the police, no help from his supervisors, no help from the Department of Public Health, consistently. This has been going on over a year now, you know, and that doesn't include everything at the Department of Public Health, all the law-breaking activity for years now that's been going on that I have documented. You know, it just continues to show they don't have to, even when required by law. What is the consequence? It's a nice illusion. It's a wonderful way to continue to get paid, you know, but at the same point in time, it's unethical, immoral, inhumane, and everything else that I have been documenting. You know, oh, we really want the problem fixed. We really don't want this to happen for anybody else. And guess what? It's continually happening because it's a game. It's an illusion. There is no accountability. You know, it has not been from them calling me in. It's been my consistently following up. And the day that I stop is the day that they will stop because they're never going to do the right thing. Have you gotten the clear, concise picture at this point? That's okay, folks. They have to live with their sin. I have to live with doing the right thing. I'm here videotaping, and I will continue to do so to point out to everyone what the truth is. 
You can live in your world of false belief, false hope, you know, that warm and fuzzy feeling that the people that are there to serve and protect you are doing that. When you see the, you know, the proof that contradicts that, that proves that it's not, well, you can choose to bury your head in the sand the way the average person does. Unfortunately, there are still people here on earth who realize what the truth is, what the games are, and what the inhumanity is. And, you know, I'm continuing to document it. Ask yourself, why do I have a signed confession from the Department of Public Health for patient dumping? Why is it that Mr. Herrera, you know, had me escorted, I'm sorry, Mr. Herrera's office had me escorted out of City Hall when I was asking the questions about patient dumping? Why is it that nobody seems to, you know, enforce my rights or anything? It's, it, it's, it's a beautiful, lovely question. The answers are all here. And if you continue to go back, like I said, to my own private Guantanamo, you'll see, you know, that this has been going on, like I said, for years. You'll see that, you know, um, it took years to get the signed confession. Of course, they left their innocent, vindicated victim for dead. But, you know, ha ha, let's move on to the next victim. Yes, let's walk into the chief's room so that, you know, we can talk to the chief and then say the chief is not available. Yes, it's the same usual game. But, you know, once again, it's not my problem. Yes, yeah, so many people employed, yet I can't be helped. Isn't it amazing? Or should I rephrase that? I cannot be helped correctly. In a correct method, so that they can be accountable, so that there will be results, so that it won't be whitewashed over or covered over or the intelligence fixed. That's why it's on video, folks. So now they're videotaping me, videotaping them. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, hi, what's the excuse okay. this time? You can have a seat and the officer will be out. Who is officer coming out? I'm sorry? Who, which officer? I, I spoke to the sergeant, they're getting an officer in for you. They're getting an officer in for me? Are they going to take my, my statement? I don't know. So then what is going on? No, I want to give my statement and I want to speak to the captain. Was I unclear? I'm awaiting a response. Yes, I know. You're just doing your job. Mm-hmm. 
Well, thank you for picking up your video recorder. Oh, they can video you, but you can't video yourself giving them a statement. Don't you just love the rig methodology? Once again, they can video you, as was seen, but you cannot video yourself giving them what is required. You know, the statement and everything else for them to proceed. Isn't it a lovely, lovely, duplicitous state? Okay, I'm going to turn this off, wait till they come out or whatever. <laughs> 